everyone how are you i hope you are doing fine so in this video i'll be talking about the automation testing part in the java so first of all um, in this training what will happen is they'll be teaching you all sorts of concepts related to automation testing and different types of testing so it will uh, begin with the uh, tdd then your basics of testing types of different testings which are involved then uh, htlc which is the software testing life cycle and then they will come with uh, come up with these maven projects which uh, in which they will be teaching you about jminit 4 and 5 so in jminit 4 they will be uh, telling about all sorts of annotations that are used and how to write the test cases in this selenium so uh, and uh, in jmunit 5 they will be teaching all about those lambda expressions and uh, you will learn lots of like uh, new ways of writing test cases in the two things then coming to uh, this rdbms they will be just touching you the basic concepts related to it which is uh, normalization different types of normalizations that are used then uh, they will be teaching you uh, sql uh, that also you will be needing related to database and things so there they will be teaching about ddl okay i, I hope uh, you might know like if you are from a computer science branch then you might have learned all these things in your data dbms so ddl tml and different types of joins they'll be teaching you then it comes to uh, spring so in spring they will be teaching about this mvc then sublets jsv all these things then they'll be teaching about the hibernate concepts uh, like the different types of uh, like uh, applications that are created using this hibernate they'll be explaining about that then uh, they'll be teaching about the spring aop spring rest api then your bdd that is behavior driven development and different of uh, different types of tools you'll be learning side by side like postman how to use that postman to run those api test cases then your uh, then it comes to selenium, selenium automation testing uh, you will be learning different types of environments uh, uh, for running those test cases that you will be writing there uh, for example test ng then uh, you will be learning also about the jmeter tool then uh, they will give a very brief explanation about the java scripts that you will be uh, that you might use writing test cases for testing this uh, ui testing and all then uh, coming about the toll gates that is very important most of them like many people have asked me about the toll gates what happens like what type of questions they'll be asking in toll gates so i'm uh, like in the previous video i told about the toll gates and uh, in the toll gate one uh, as i already discussed in my previous videos that there will be it will be completely based on the basic concepts of the oops uh, and all those things uh, they'll be taking the toll gate one once you qualify that toll get one and you are uh, shifted to this automation testings uh, as because uh, i'm making this video for this automated testing people so uh, specifically here in this toll get two you will be uh, you will be asked about all those j unit test cases and all those they will be uh, like uh, in the training they will be teaching you all these things so how to write the test cases in JUnit 4 and all these things stuffs they'll be asking you there you have to uh, pull the projects from the git and then after that you have to write the test cases and run it in that uh, uh, using that uh, especially uh, in any platform that uh, they will be telling you to use for example eclipse talking about the toll gate 3 what they will do is they will give a project and where you have to like uh, uh, different topics will be given so there you have to suppose um, they'll be giving any topic and uh, on the basis of that you have to uh, make a home page home page dashboard for that using uh, any like uh, any language uh, especially like uh, angular and all you have to uh, for uh, making that page you can use that thing uh, that home page dashboard should be there and then like uh, registration uh, like so that the user can uh, register there okay for that particular platform any music suppose any music web application so uh, and the after registration the user should be able to log in into it and also like uh, uh, suppose you are searching for any music for example uh, there should be a search bar there uh, the user should be able to search any music and then the search results 
so in this way you will be making one web application as well as you have to test all those things UI testing and all using both the development and the testing part you will be uh, analyzed on and um, you will be tested on so once you're done with the project your tollgate 3 you'll be accessed uh, on the basis of that how you have done the project how you have presented it uh, you have to also make a presentation on it like how you build this project what you have what the skills you have acquired here and all those things once you once you qualify this tool get three you are get to go and uh, uh, you will be given like after some days you will be qualifying that tool get three and will be like mailed from CGI that you are uh, you have got this sign uh, this project and will be working on this so best of luck I hope you are doing great and you are working quite well and if you are a, uh, like you have not yet started the training these are the things it will be involved if you are into any automation testing uh, like field you have been assigned so these are the things it will be involved don't worry just focus on your learning you will do great thank you and in the uh, also comment don't forget to subscribe like and share my uh, channel and these videos and uh, keep posting whatever your queries in my in the comment box and uh, best of luck stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye bye